Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video of Lunch and Learn. I'm Jamie Michael Joseph, Successful Business Marketing. And today being Thursday, we are going to talk about traffic. Not the traffic that you get stuck in in the car, the good kind of traffic that we want that flows through our website, our sales funnels, our processes, all that kind of thing. So today is the 4th of July, Independence Day for the people in the States. But what we're kind of just uh, making a point of that is because yesterday, Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, it had a little glitch again. I think for about kind of six, several hours it was down with people not being able to use it. And this is a good lesson just to factor in with your traffic. So we need traffic. Whatever we're offering, we need traffic. Uh, so depending on where you're putting that offer, it could be simple. It could be just a, a one-step offer. So you're putting something out there that says um, buy this now and people are looking to buy it. You need to get it in front of people. You can have that on your website, social media, video, paid ads, whatever it is we're using. It's all a different form of traffic. You can have two-step traffic then, so stuff like putting, uh, so we'll go back to Facebook on topic with uh, the posting into a group or a Facebook ad leading off to your Facebook page and the offer is on there. It could be three steps with it goes to your page and then goes off to uh, your website, your sales page, your video, whatever it is where you explain more and then get people to sell. But the trouble is, is when you rely on one kind of traffic source, that's when you are at risk of uh, something going wrong. So like with Facebook yesterday, imagine if something drastic happened to Facebook and it was down for a week, but you're relying on that traffic for your business, it's basically gonna put you out of business for a week, okay? So look, what we want to do there is just look at different traffic avenues and make sure we build up traction on those platforms also. Uh, look, obviously, if you find something that is working, you know, then double down on it, make sure that you know, you're, you're getting the most out of it, but don't ignore the other areas. Same as with um, trends and different platforms that come uh, popular and people start using them. You know, Snapchat came around, people started getting, there was a bit of hype around Snapchat and people using it. It's kind of disappeared a bit now for, especially for business. Um, Instagram, you know, up and down with business. You've got LinkedIn has had a big resurgence re recently, but if you kind of concentrate just on that, a while back you, you would have suffered slightly. You know, now people are moving to it. As soon as they change their algorithm with the same as, as the other social media platforms, there will be an issue there. Um, and people will be complaining that it's not working as well. So like I said, just don't all, just don't risk it all onto one platform. Google changed, Twitter changed. You know, people people's business got shut down overnight. So all we're looking at here is with traffic, is that we want to make sure we're not relying on one for, uh, form of traffic. We want to open up different avenues, get them working for us, see what works, make the money whilst it's there but don't ignore the other processes and keep up to date with them. So look, I hope that helps tomorrow. Uh, with being Friday, we're gonna talk about Funalytics. Um, so again, analytics made fun, and I'll catch you on that video.